Chances are you've got an old Android phone lying around collecting dust somewhere. I'm going to show you how to breathe new life into that device by turning it into a dash cam, a GPS, and a GPS tracker for your car. Hey everyone, it's me, Sarah. Don't you hate it when you're driving around and you accidentally run over some people and then the community paints your house red to remind you of the lives that you took? Well, it might not be so bad if you were able to prove that somehow it wasn't your fault. <laughs> and one of the ways to do that is by getting a dash cam, but those can sometimes be expensive and not very effective. I'm going to show you how you can use an old Android device like this one here and set it up as a dash cam in your car. We're going to start by downloading the app called Autoboy from the Android Play Store. It's free, so no hesitations. The setup is simple and only takes a few seconds to get started. Now let's see how it works. Is that guy wearing my ostrich pillow? Now from the first time you launch the app, that's all there is to it. You're ready to go. You can mount your phone on the dashboard of your car. As soon as your car starts moving, your phone's going to start recording. The app will track the speed at which you're going, your location, and you'll have the option of recording with your front or back facing camera. And you can also toggle features like audio recording. Because this may drain your battery quite a bit, be sure to keep your phone plugged in. And since you're going to be keeping that old Android phone in your car as a dash cam, you might as well use it as a GPS too. And even if you don't have Wi-Fi or data, you can still use it as a GPS by downloading your maps offline. I'll show you how. You can select the city you want to download and save it to your device for later use. Now when you're out driving with no internet connection, you can still use your GPS by referencing the data saved to your phone. I can't remember the last time that I could honestly say that I was happy. But anyways, I'm going to go see what that ostrich pillow guy was putting in my trunk, because that seems kind of suspicious. Interesting. It looks like he put one of his old Android phones in my trunk. Let's go see what he was up to. It looks like he was using his phone as a GPS tracker to find out where I was going. That's a little weird. But hey, sometimes things like that can come in useful. Like what if you have a child and they're out doing drugs like heroin and cocaine with bad people? You want to know where they're going, so you can track them using your phone. The best app to get the job done is one called GPS Tracker. All you have to do is set up a username and password and then launch the app. Then you can go to the website wherearegps.com, sign in with the username and password that you created, and you'll be able to see the location data from your phone. Be careful with that last trick though. Don't use it to stalk random people. That is illegal and you will get the electric chair for that. But anyways, I wish I had known about these tips a lot earlier. Then the whole town wouldn't have turned against me and vandalized my house. You guys can find a whole lot of other tips for repurposing old Android devices on the XDA forum, Repurposing Android. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this and drive safely.